you have to break more and more. Watch yourself, sir. Far behind you. Thank you very much. No, no problem. Pete Seeger is my very earliest memory. My parents took me at age three on the Guardian newspaper's circle line around Manhattan. It was a left-wing newspaper. It had an annual circle line trip around Manhattan. And Pete Seeger was on that boat, of course, singing. And he swooped me up into his arms. I was about three years old or younger. And I, that's my very first memory. And all through my childhood, Pete Seeger has been there. We listened to the Weavers and we went to many of his concerts. And there's a big hole in the world right now for me. I have a family of four blue and gold macaw parrots called the Parrots for Peace and they sang on a regular basis on Saturdays between noon and two in Wappinger Falls at the Peace Corner and Pete embraced them entirely as uh, the spokes avians for nature and wildlife and, and a symbol of everybody in unity and that nature had their um, place talking to people as well and, and I just love Pete because he is the spirit. He's now in the land of the immortals. He lives forever. Uh, but he embraced everybody, encouraged everybody, and there's nothing that he hasn't touched. He's like an embodiment of all the great, all the greats, and uh, just gives us a lot of as aspirations. So it's, it's many people's morning kind of idea, what would Pete do? Uh, to act with courage and strength and stand in your own conviction and really stand for First Amendment rights and the uh, value of the individual and uh, not pay attention to consequences because the consequences of not standing up for what's right is far worse than anything else. Right to show my rainbow is too soon to die. Let's sing it again now. The first line is one blue sky.